This TV Mass is brought to you live by Philippine Long Distance SME Nation. Success through technology with PLDT SME Nation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, you my, my brothers and sisters, and sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my, my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and, and what, what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. Praise be to you, God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. There is no power for good which does not come from your covenant, and no, comprom- no promise of hope that your love has not offered. Strengthen our faith to accept your covenant, and give us the love to carry out your command. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the word. The Israelites experienced hardships during their captivity in foreign lands. Jeremiah prophesies that God will come to deliver his people and lead them home. The prophet compares this new exodus to a complete healing of the land and of the people, causing immense joy. Our first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, Shout with joy for Jacob. Exalt at the head of the nations. Proclaim your praise and say, The Lord has delivered his people, the remnant of Israel. Behold, I will bring them back from the land of the north. I will gather them from the ends of the world with the blind and the lame in their midst. The mothers and those with child, they shall return as an immense throng. They departed in tears, but I will console them and guide them. I will lead them to brooks of water on a level, on a level road so that none shall stumble. For I am a father to Israel. Ephraim is my firstborn. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Joy sing, 
The risen Jesus is our intercessor before the Father. Because as man he shared our weakness, he is now our compassionate high priest before God's throne. Our second reading. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, every high priest is taken from among men and made their representative before God to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He is able to deal patiently with the ignorant and erring, for he himself is beset by weakness, and so for this reason must make sin offerings for himself as well as for the people. No one takes this honor upon himself, but only when called by God just as Aaron was. In the same way, it was not Christ who glorified himself in becoming high priest, but rather the one who said to him, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Just as he says in another place, You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all rise to give glory and honor to the Holy Gospel. Our Savior Jesus Christ destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a sizable crowd, Bartimaeus, a blind man, the son of Timaeus, sat by the roadside begging. On hearing that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. And men rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and said, Call him. So they called the blind man, saying to him, Take courage, get up, Jesus is calling you. He threw aside his cloak, sprung up, and came to Jesus. Jesus said to him in reply, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man replied to him, Master, I want to see. Jesus told him, Go your way, your faith has saved you. Immediately, he received his sight 
and followed him on the way. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning to all of you. Not everybody's answering. Good morning to all of you. Can we give God a round of applause? Sabihin nyo, harapin ang katabi. Harapin po ang katabi. Sabihin mo, you are loved and cherished forever. Say it. May nakita ko sabi, Do it again. Sabihin sa katabi, you are loved and cherished forever. Say it. You have nothing to fear. Sabi ng isa, ano? Na? Ulitin nyo, you have nothing to fear. You can do no wrong. Learn to surrender. Sabi ko harapin ng katabi, akong hinaharap ninyo. My brothers and sisters, 30th Sunday in the ordinary time, What is God telling all of us today? The first reading from the book of the prophet, Hala, na. from the book of the prophet, Jeremiah. I am not sure whether you are, you're all aware of the life of the prophet Jeremiah. It, the Lord made clear to Jeremiah that his life will not be easy. In Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 17 to 18, what do we hear? God was telling Jeremiah, prepare yourself. A lot of people will oppose you, but do not worry. They will not overcome you because I am with you. What did Jeremiah went through throughout his life? People would not listen to him. They planned to kill him. He was put into prison. He was taken in chains. Brought to Babylon and many other sufferings that he went through. Sino sa inyo ang may mga pinagdadaanan ngayon? Pumalakpak ng malakas. Lord, dagdagan nyo pa. Let's be honest about it, no? We go through a lot in life. Am I correct? Yes or no? Yes. Totoo lang. Alam nyo, I am already 40 years old, no? Parang eh. O sige, 28, no? You know, for us, priests in the Archdiocese, At the age of 40, we are already reminded that we have to undergo an executive checkup. I have not been to the hospital, to st- I have not stayed in a hospital even overnight, never. But they told me, Father, you have to. And so I went, I went, I stayed overnight in the hospital. Sabi ko, ano ba ito? Every hour, the nurse will, will wake me up. Sasabi sa akin, gising ka na, Father. Sabi ko, ginising mo na. No? They went through. And you know, after, when the result was given to me, the first thing I asked the doctor was, Doctor, ilang taon pa ba ako mabubuhay? Sabi ng doctor, Father, baka mga dosing taon pa. Sabi ko, magsalita ito, akala mo Diyos, no? And the doctor was telling me, if you will not correct your lifestyle, maybe two months from now. <laughs> Sabi ko, nakakatakot naman. Ha? Sabi ko, doctor, do not worry. Pag ako kinuha, i-petition kita. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, all of us, with no exception, we go through a lot. Am I correct? Yes or no? But I would like to tell you a very, very good story. It, it, it was a personal experience, and it has become an eye-opener for me, and hopefully, it will become an eye-opener for everyone. You know, 
two Saturdays ago, I was in a mall. And then after eating together with my friends, near the escalator, I saw a young boy together with his father. Nag-uusap yung dalawa, nakikita ko yung bata umiiyak. Ay, yung tatay naman, kinakausap yung bata. Maya-maya, yung tatay, umalis, sumakay ng escalator, iniwan yung bata sa taas. So, I got worried. Habi ko, bakit kaya? Maya-maya, bumalik yung tatay. Kinausap, nag-uusap sila, umiyak yung bata. At yung bata, lumalapit sa escalator, ginaganong-ganon yung paa. No? Sabi ko, nag exercise sa escalator. So, I got bothered. So, I approached them. I said, good evening, I am Father Nolan. Hey boy, why are you crying? Sabi ng bata, <gasps> I said, what's wrong? Sabi ng tatay, Father, kanina po kasi, pababa kami ng escalator, natakot po siya, akala niya po mahuhulog siya. Kaya ngayon, Father, hindi namin alam kung paano na kami bababa dito. No? I told the boy, Learn to trust Daddy. Daddy is here. And if you want, I will also join the two of you. Father is here. Or if you want, before we, we take the elevator, then we will pray. Because God will be with us. Sabi ng bata, Yes, Father, let us pray. Doon kami sa gilid ng escalator, nagdadasal yung mga tao nakatingin sa amin. Sabi ko, oh, let us play, let us close our eyes together. Kasama, tuwa ako, nagdadasal kami kasama yung tatay, nakapikit kami lahat. No? Sabi ko, Lord, take away fear from us. Allow us to take the elevator safely. I know you will be with us. Amen! Nagulat din to Amen, no? And then, sabi ko ha, pupunta na tayo ha. Hawak sa kamay ni Daddy, hawak sa kamay ni Father, ikaw ay nasa gitna. Would you like that? Yes, Father. I'll count one to three, and then we take the elevator. We ride the ele- escalator, rather. Sabi ko, one, two, three. Ako lang ang sumakay. Ano ba yan, no? Akyat na naman ako. Akyat na naman ako. Sabi ng daddy, Father, pasensya na po, napipervision na po kayo. It's all right, it's all right. Let's help one another. Sabi niya, Father, you, you go home. It, it might take us a long time here. It's all right, Father, you go home na. Go ahead. Of, no, I'll help you. Let's do it together. Sakay na naman kami. Sabi ko, ha? Escalator, one, two, three, go. Are you ready? Sabi ng tatay, Yes! I go, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the boy. One, two, three. Ako lang naman ang sumakay. Sabi ko, di ba, Lord, tsatsagaan ko ito. No, after 30 minutes, after 30 minutes, imagine, pababa ako na akyat, my God. No, no. I lost one pound. <laughs> After 30 minutes, sabi ko sa bata, Ala, magsas- the, the, the mall will close already. If you will not take the ele- escalator, then we have to sleep here. And there will be a lot of dinosaurs around. No? <laughs> Nag-joke lang naman ako. Tumawa yung bata. Sabi ko, let's do it for the last time. We close our eyes, we pray, you hold the hands of daddy. You hold my hand as well. You stay at the center. Then we go, I count one, two, three, and we go together. Can we do that? Daddy, can we do that? Yes. Boy, can we do that? Yes. So I said, we can do that together because God is with us. I count one, two, three. We took the escalator and we made it. Wow. You know what I saw? Immediately, when we were able to take the escalator... The boy looked at his father, and the boy smiled. And the boy looked at me, and the boy embraced me. And the father told the boy, This is something that you will learn throughout your life. If you want to be happy, 
you should know how to trust people. And more importantly, you should know how to trust the Lord. My brothers and sisters, in our first reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah, apart from the sufferings that Jeremiah went through, now we heard a new kind of music that Jeremiah is singing. Jeremiah now prophesied to people, and the message is hope and no longer pain and suffering. Wala na yung paghihirap. And Jeremiah was telling people, God will lead you back to your own land. God will bring you to waters. These are messages of hope. If you were listening carefully to the first reading, ano, may, ayo, ano yung mga sinasabi? Sabi ni Jeremiah, the Lord will say, I will lead them back to their own land. I will lead them to green pasture. Alam nyo ang sinasabi, I will lead them. Sabi nyo, them. Say it. Say it, them. Hindi, I will lead you, them. You know, I like that. You know, that word, them, would always speak of people. It's not of individual person. And you know, that's what I would like to share to you as well. That if we truly trust in the Lord, then we should always recognize others. We should recognize others. Say it. Oy, magsalita kayo. No. We should recognize others. Say it. We should be sensitive to others. We should not be indifferent. Alam niyo ibig sabihin nun? Alam niyo ibig sabihin nun sinasabi niyo? Ang dapat isa, ang, ang dapat na gawin ng bawat isa, dapat tayo makisangkot at magtulungan. Sabi niyo, magtulungan. You know, I, I discover nowadays, many people now are very insensitive, very indifferent. Mga walang pake. Do you agree with me? Yes or no? Sumakay na naman ako ng escalator, no? Makasabi niyo, Father, ang ministry bumaba sa escalator, no? Nakikita ko yung escalator, pa, 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 pahinto-hinto. Naisip ko agad, sabi ko, hahanap ako ng gwardiya, sabihin ko na ang escalator pahinto-hinto, baka may maaksidente. Nung una, kita kong gwardiya, sabi ko, Kuya, 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 ako po si Father Nolan. Sumakay po ako ng escalator. Pahinto ito yung escalator. Paki-inform po, baka po ma, may maaksidente. Ang sagot sa akin, pasensya ka na, sir. Hindi po ako in charge dyan. Sabi ko, anong gusto mo? Ako mag Sabi ng kasama ko, Father, wag nyo na pong pagalitan. Pati ba naman escalator, pinapakialaman nyo. Sabi ko, hindi yung pakikialam. That is concern. Say it, concern. Louder, concern. Could you please tell one another, I'm concerned of you. Ito. Do you agree with me? Many people. Do you agree? Wala pa nga. Yes na agad na. Do you agree with me? Many people now are not concerned of their neighbors. Yes or no? Anong pinagkaiba in the gospel reading today? Here comes a blind man in the person of Bartimaeus. He was in the highway. Maybe peep, others were so much concerned of themselves. They wanted to see Jesus, but they have forgotten that they're also a blind man who also need Jesus. We are like that many times. Mga walang pake. I would like to admonish you people. As we walk nearing to celebrate All Saints Day, then it reminds us that in the same way that the saints are praying for us, they're interceding for us, then we do the same to others while we are still alive. 
That's very, very important. And you notice the words of Bartimaeus. First, he said, Son of David. And after which he repeated it, Son of David. You know, that title is very, very important. When we speak of Jesus as the Son of David, it means that Bartimaeus believes in the promise. The promise. And the promise comes from God. And what did Bartimaeus do? When Jesus called him, he threw away his cloak and followed him. You know, that's the significance of throwing the cloak. That is an act of surrender. My brothers and sisters and all the televiewers, if you want to experience happiness, if you want to experience peace, then do not forget the word surrender. Surrender everything to God. If you are sick, then give away your sickness to Him. If you have problems, give away your problems to Him. And He will truly act in our lives. Yung kaibigan kong palaging tumatawag sa akin, ang ta- pag tumatawag, reklamo ng reklamo, kagabi tumawag siya, iba na ang tono. Sabi niya, Father, thanks be to God. I don't have problems anymore. I said, really? Ang nireklamo niya sa akin, asawa, mga anak. Sabi ko, buhay pa ba sila? Sabi niya, Father, yes. But I don't have problems anymore, Father. I surrendered everything to God. Sabi niyo, I surrendered everything to God. Say it. Surrender is never an act of weakness. It is an act of strength. That's what Bartimaeus did. That's what Jeremiah did. And that is the same thing we are invited to do as we celebrate this Eucharist. My brothers and sisters, trust in the Lord. Surrender everything to Him. And you will be happy. You will experience peace. Because that is His promise to all of us. Amen. Please stand. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty. Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became a man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray to Christ, our Savior, that He may open our eyes, hearts, and minds, so that like Bartimaeus, we may follow Him completely. With confidence, we ask Him, Open our eyes, Lord. Open our eyes, Lord, that the church may see herself as the people of God in a common journey towards discipleship and as an instrument for healing and forgiveness. We pray. Open our eyes, Lord, that the leaders of our nation, through their selfless and competent leadership, may bring light to a nation mired in poverty division, and corruption, we pray. Open our eyes, Lord, that prisoners enjoy a humane living condition in our penal institutions so as to secure the rehabilitation, we pray. Open our eyes, Lord, that those who are actively involved in prison ministry may continue to bring light in the life of the prisoners and the victims through their steadfast commitment to serve the prison society, we pray. 
Open our eyes, Lord, that we may support those who are already involved in prison ministry so that together we can respond to those who have been hurt by crimes. We pray. Open our eyes, Lord. In silence, we pray for personal intention. Let us pray to the Lord. Open, Open our, our eyes, eyes, Lord. Lord. Lord Jesus, grant that we may see our needy brothers and sisters and hear their silent cries so that we may not pass them by but give them a helping hand. For whatever we do to them, we do unto you, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please remain standing while the gifts are being presented. our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept his sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For, the, for through his Paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people f for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, as we sing the hymn of your glory, without end we acclaim. Oh, uh -huh. 
are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Benedict, our Pope, Luis Antonio, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters of wholeness leap in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Now pray the prayer Jesus taught us.
deliver us, Lord, we pray for every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, but that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the gift of peace. Peace, peace. peace to all of you. My brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we were invited to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. For those of you who are unable to receive Holy Communion, especially our brothers and sisters who are joining us in this TV Mass, we invite you to pray with us this prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen
Please all rise. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that we may now celebrate in signs, we may one day possess in truth, true Christ, our Lord. Amen. We now pray for all our sick brothers and sisters. Panginoon, marami po kami pinagdadaanan. May mga kapatid kami na may karamdaman, may mga sakit na pinapasan. Panginoon, sa oras na ito, iniling namin ang iyong pagpapala, ang kapangirihan ng iyong mga kamay. Naway pagalingin mo ang mga kapatid na may pinagdadaanan sa buhay. Dear God, we really claim today with the power of your grace, the power of your healing, that you will make all of us whole again. Dear God, we look forward that today we will be able to say that we have freed ourselves from anxiety, from fears, from problems. Because we know, dear God, that you have set in and we have allowed you to enter into our lives. All this we ask and pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The Acts Catholic Prayer Community invites you to its Jesus Encounter Seminar on November 17, 2012 from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. at the Miralco Multipurpose Hall. This is open to ages 18 and above. Those interested may proceed to the registration table just outside the chapel after this Mass. Registration fee of up 250 pesos including, includes lunch and snacks, cost of venue, and others. Thank you. Before the final blessing, harapin ang katabi, sabihin nyo, you are loved and cherished forever. Say it. You have nothing to fear. You can do no wrong. Provided that you surrender yourself to God and you start following Jesus. I hope and I pray that before you leave this chapel, then you'll be able to say, Lord, I am now free from any problem because I know that I have allowed you to enter into my life and I now make a commitment to follow you. Say that before you leave this chapel. Will you do that? Yes. Dalawa lang ang sumagot, no? Will you do that? Yes. Hindi naman kayo galit. <laughs> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass ended, we go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. To God.